Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Gio from SwitchRPG.com. Today I want to discuss a few hidden gem RPGs on the Nintendo Switch. You know I often get asked, I play these big RPGs like Dragon Quest XI, Octopath Traveler, what else can I play? Well along with myself and a few other colleagues of mine, I've put together a list of 10 hidden gem RPGs to play on the Nintendo Switch. So stop asking me! I'm gonna be honest, this one was a hard one to recommend. I initially played Bloodstained when it was first released and it was a rocky start. There were frame rate issues, input lag, blurry overall quality, and longer than normal load times. Oh, and how can I forget the game breaking bug that was included in a patch? But now I can actually recommend getting Bloodstained now that all those issues have been resolved. If you're all a fan of Symphony of the Night, this will fall in line with your expectations. Bloodstained is a 2.5D Metroidvania with some amazing level design, great visuals, and deep RPG customization. Atelier Ryza is a charming, well thought out turn-based RPG in a long line of Atelier games. But don't let that stop you from jumping in because there really isn't much crossover in terms of story. In true JRPG fashion, Atelier Ryza does take a while to get going and when it does, it's really good. The combat mechanics are well thought out, the visual storytelling is fantastic, and the crafting system is very deep. Alchemy is one of the core mechanics that allows you to turn the tide in some battles, whether it's creating weapons or armors or finding the right recipe to create in an item that will help you through the game. Although originally released in 2014, Child of Light offers a beautiful watercolor environment along with a graceful soundtrack, and it's not too late to get into it now. Child of Light is an artistic platform RPG with an active time battle combat system where turn order can be manipulated. There are also items called oculi. They can be created and used for stat bonuses or special effects for yourself or your party members. Ben over at Switch RPG says Arafel Enhanced Edition has all the charm that you'd expect from the 16-bit classics with some integrated modern sensibilities that collectively bring out the best of both worlds, resulting in an essential budget-friendly experience. It proves that a game with genuine heart behind it can overcome any hurdles or preconceived notions that might come its way regardless of its origins or upbringing. Simply put, Arafel Enhanced Edition is one of the best in its class on the Switch. Rich over at SwitchRPG.com says Shinseki isn't your cookie cutter Metroidvania. While it has some traditional elements you can expect from the genre, it's very different. First off, it takes place completely underwater, which isn't a simple feat to accomplish in any video game genre, but Shinseki nails it. Secondly, Shinseki excels when it comes to exploration, leaving as much of the underwater world up to you, the player, to explore and experience at their pace and choose it. Shinseki has plenty to offer in addition to exploring as you set out to the ocean depths and discover why you are the last human survivor. You will need to seek out and mine resources to craft upgrades to your suit and collect weapons to defend yourself. Not all of the beautiful ocean wildlife is friendly. After you've completed Dark Souls Remastered, you really need to dive into Ashen. This isn't just a generic version of Dark Souls. It has a unique art style with a unique twist on the Souls-like genre. Ashen has AI or even real-world co-op features. While I wasn't able to fully test out the real-world co-op, the AI was enough to help me along with my adventure. Evan over at SwitchRPG.com says Hand of Fate 2 is a love letter to board games, combining all the parts you love with all the luck that you hate. 
Because your setup is so effortless, you get to explore, experiment, and enhance in ways similar to an RPG, but with the tense turn-by-turn -turn action of the best tabletop titles. Combined with excellent presentation value and a slew of inventive scenarios, this is one title you'll keep coming back to play long after you've started. Children of Morta is an action roguelite RPG that tells a beautiful story of the Bergson family. You can play each member of the family and they each provide a very different playstyle. After completing a dungeon run, whether it's successful or not, the narrative is always being pushed forward. The gameplay can be fast and furious, but with a little bit of luck and skill, you can make it through to see how it all unfolds. Battle Chasers Night War is a 3v3 turn-based RPG based off the comics from the late 90s. I really like the art design here. Whether it's the oil-painted aesthetic of the overworld or the hand-drawn cutscenes, Battle Chaser oozes that graphic novel concept. The playable characters offer plenty of variety in terms of how they can be played. There is even some replayability in the dungeons. You can go back for a challenge at higher difficulties. I feel like this is a must play for the turn-based RPG fan. There is enough content here to fully satisfy their hunger. Let me tell you, Golf Story took me by surprise. There's a lot to unpack in this pixel art golf RPG. This underdog story will have you laughing at times at the absurd situations the developers have put you in. And while you may think it's just an ordinary arcade golf experience, there is quite a benefit to exploration. Talking with NPCs or finding that hidden button to aid you on the course, you'll find plenty to do in this charming RPG. I know there are tons of hidden gems out there and I could go on forever. Heck, I, I could list off like five of them right now, but I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Leave your suggestions in the comments down below and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.